A French government official says the man who attacked officers outside the Notre Dame Cathedral had not been previously suspected of radicalization. New video shows the man attacking officers with a hammer outside the popular tourist attraction. He reportedly shouted, this is for Syria. An officer was slightly injured. The attacker remains in the hospital. No group immediately claimed responsibility, but police searching his home found a declaration of allegiance to the Islamic State group. More than 230 people have died in attacks across France in the past two and a half years. The increase in high-profile attacks in France and Britain has some people wary of traveling overseas. But as Reg Chapman found, some travel experts say you don't need to rethink your vacation plans. Just got back from Paris last month. WCCO photojournalist Tom Avilas is a world traveler. I'm big on experiences when it comes to traveling because I think that's the greatest thing, especially for my child, is to be able to show her the world. He and his family have made trips to the Middle East and Asia. Next month, he plans to take them back to Paris. Avilas says the recent terror attacks there will not stop him from traveling. The main thing is when you're at sites, you just have to be aware of, like I say, your surroundings. You know, when you go to the Eiffel Tower, you go to the Champs Elysees. You just have to kind of look around, especially since, you know, we're going with our 10-year-old daughter. We haven't seen a slowdown at all. Sandra Lovick says her agents at Travel Leaders in Woodbury are busy. She says many Minnesotans know with the dollar being so strong, this is the best time to travel to Europe. Frankfurt for 640. And Lovick says increased competition has caused airline prices to drop dramatically. Many clients leaving in the next couple of weeks. Not one of them has even called me. But the concern was so far, none of Lovick's clients are calling to cancel their trips, but agents are making sure they're armed with the necessary information to keep them safe. Reg Chapman, WCCO 4 News. Travel leaders told Reg it encourages clients to look at State Department websites for any warnings in the area they're traveling to. Lovick believes with falling airline prices, more people will decide it's time to take the European vacation despite the uptick in violence.